You Hawaiian? Chinese Cambodian. Oh, Cambodian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cambodian, good. I like Cambodian women. Uh -huh, that's good. <laughs> Today we are going to eat some Hawaiian food. Hawaiian food you won't find very often in Sydney, but there's a new place that has popped up in a suburb called St. Mary's and it's called the Big Big Aloha. It's owned by a beautiful couple. We're gonna go and meet them, try out some Hawaiian traditional foods. Oh, also, remember to subscribe to the channel. I even wore my Hawaii shirt, man. Aloha Cousins, this is Uncle Marcus here from the Big Big Aloha. A couple of years ago, me and my wife opened up a uh, travel agency and then with the pandemic in 2020, pretty much turned the travel agency upside down. And we lived in Hawaii for six years, back in 2004 to 2010. We loved Hawaii, we loved the people, we loved the food. We loved everything about Hawaii, so we thought we'd just open up a food truck. With no experience, just some help of some local Hawaiians um, to give us some advice. And then after that, it went so well, man. The community came out to support us, especially our, our Asian community, our Pacifica community, and, and just the locals. And then uh, we were able to open up uh, the cafe in, in uh, the end of October 2021, that same year. So we've just been very lucky to, to have so much support. So Hawaiian food is predominantly influenced by Filipino, Korean and Japanese. And so Hawaiian food, not like the rest of Polynesia, where it's more coconut cream based, Hawaiian food is more soy based. So soy sauce, a little bit of sugar. Top dish is our Hawaiian barbecue. We marinate for two days at a, at a minimum and three days at a maximum. So and the barbecue you're gonna eat today, which is Wednesday, we, we marinate it on, on Monday morning. We're just having a bunch of fun, man. Our main goal is just to share the Aloha spirit with the, with the community, the city community and and be able to help them to come in and enjoy some food and maybe feel like Hawaii, like they're in Hawaii. And uh, you know, for a moment in their day, if we can just share that aloha with them, that's, that's all we ask for. Oh, mahalo nui loa cousins, thank you so much. E mai, welcome to the Big Big Aloha. I don't think I've had this much food in front of me ever before in my life, man. What the hell? What we have in front of us is just a huge, huge assortment just to represent what Hawaiian food is and Man, it's very hard coming into this restaurant, the Big Big Aloha, and not buying everything because like everything is just so cool to try, you know what I mean? You've got things like the garlic shrimp that you'll find in northern Honolulu. you find things like lokomoko, which is this like a sausage and egg type of breakfast dish. you find things like spam musubi, and my favorite, poke. Ooh man, salmon poke. I'm super, super excited for this. Like I haven't eaten proper, proper Hawaiian poke, you know, the way they do it over there for such a long time since I went to Hawaii with my girlfriend a couple years ago. So there is a lot of food here and I'm super, super excited to try it all. Let's start with this. Before we do anything, I'm gonna start off with this. I think it's a milkshake or a thick shake of some sort. Biscoff flavor. <laughs> really good. Oh, it's almost like a frappe too. All right. Before we tackle all of this food, this is the luau pork or the slow cooked braised uh, pork that came out of that pot that we just saw. I really, really wanted to try this because in Hawaii, they do something called luau where they cook it a bit differently, of course. Over there, they uh, cook it underground, but then the pork comes out and gets shredded and it's very juicy like that. Oh, let's try it. Mm. So soft, man. Well, wow. the flavor just runs through the entire meat. Just really, really nice. Mm. That's good soft. On to the big stuff. So apparently this here is one of their signature dishes and it is fried chicken with a soy garlic sauce on top. Is it soy garlic? The sweet garlic uh, sauce that they dip it in. It gets served over rice with Hawaiian style mac salad and some sort of slaw. So this is the mac salad. Wow, it actually tastes like Hawaii. It actually tastes exactly the same as the ones you get in Hawaii. That's awesome, man. Creamy, slightly peppery. Mm. Oh, my, my, my. I just know this is gonna be good, man. Mm. I love the sauces on the outside. Oh, great, great crispy fried chicken, but the sauce is definitely what makes it, man. You know when you go to Korean fried chicken shops and you get the soy marinade? A bit like that, just with their own little twist to it. Look how juicy that is, oh, good. Hawaiian style barbecue. 
Same thing, mac salad, slaw, but this time over rice, you get chicken thigh, barbecue, and pork belly. I like how everything gets served with the pineapple here too. It's kind of cute, eh? Mmm. The fatty part of the pork belly is always the best part. Can't eat too much of it, but it's always really, really good when you have pork belly, man. Wow, that's good, man. It's hard for me to pick. I don't know which one I like better, the fried chicken or this barbecue chicken. Obviously with the barbecue chicken, they get a bit of smoky flavor to it. I'll say the, the, the marinade or the sauce is quite similar. Mm, I gotta say, these guys know how to do their chicken, man. The chicken's just so juicy. Oh, beautiful, man, honestly. When you do that, is it really close to my face or? No, white. You had the white shot. Yeah, nice. Spam vesuvi, man. I think they call these Maui fries here. It's just fries with kipi mayo and hirikake seasoning on top. Very pretty. Let's try one actually. Mm. Kipi makes everything better, hey? <laughs> I love kipi mayo. Misubi is pretty interesting because a lot of people in Hawaii have this as just a snack. Like you'll find it at the corner shop. This is a misubi. So essentially it's rice, a layer of rice down the bottom. You have a grilled piece of spam on top with like a sweet soy dressing on top. And then it's all covered in seaweed. Get like a sushi. People love this in Hawaii, man. Hmm. Ah, ready? Yeah. Try that. Cool. I feel like if I was uh, growing up in Hawaii, every primary school I'd eat this. Kupi and furikake on everything. It's, it's good. <laughs> Oh, you're still going? We're yeah. still going. Yeah. We take it slow. <laughs> this here is probably the dish that I was most excited when I came to find out about the Big Big Aloha, and it is poke. Wow, oh, look at that. They do it the very traditional Hawaiian way. Nothing special. There's no, there's no like heap of salad in the bowl the way they've done it in a lot of Australian poke shops. When it comes to Hawaiian style poke, it's just the fish and the rice, and that's all the flavor. This entire bowl of poke. You got the rice, right? And then this side, see where the fish is? This whole thing is just fish, man. It's not over rice, bro. Look at that. That's so generous, man. The thing is just flavor, bro. Mm. I doubt you'll find anything like this style of okay, anywhere else in Sydney. This place gets it right, man. The other day I was at Hot Pot Palace. They had this. Bro, right, I got like a kilo of it. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Garlic shrimp over rice. Nice and light and crispy on the outside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I believe this is the Hawaiian style breakfast. So you get a bit of a potato gems, some sausages that are fried, egg, and that spam from the spam masubi. And once again, we have a bit of kupi and a bit of kirikake. Oh, that is good egg, man. Wow. Wow. That is bloody good egg. Oh my goodness me. One bite of this beautiful, beautiful piece of grilled spam again. When I eat it, it sort of tastes like a teriyaki sauce. I'm not sure if someone can tell me whether or not they use teriyaki sauce or a different sauce on this, but very good. Bro. It's all about the egg, baby. Mm. This right here is called loco moco, and essentially it is a patty, like a burger patty, which is covered in sauce or some sort of gravy. And then they have a fried egg on top, some of that mac salad again, which they eat with everything, man. But I love this mac salad, as you know. I might cut through this beef patty here. Uh huh. All right. Good flavor on that gravy. A good local moko in Hawaii comes from this gravy. Some places even drench the whole thing in gravy, like you won't see rice. The best way is actually just to like mix everything up all together and just eat it that way. This mac salad, I need to learn how to make this man. It goes so well with everything. A wise girl once told me, her name is Kelly and she's my girlfriend, that there's always room for dessert. So we've got a couple of desserts to try here. We got a New Zealand fresh cream donut. We got a type of cookie that they call an Afghan cookie in New Zealand. This is a German chocolate cake. And we've got a caramel slice down here. 
powder. I completely choked on that. I didn't realize it was icing. <laughs> oh, very nice though. Mm. Oh, soft like a cloud, man. I really like it. All right, now we're going to try this cake here. Oh, dude, that cake is so soft, man. Wow. They said they got this cake from some local girl at the church. I love how they support local businesses here, man. You guys know I'm not a sweet tooth, but this is the third time I've taken three bites out of a cake in one go. <laughs> My girlfriend would be so proud of me, man. I don't know how I'm fitting in so many sweets. So this is what they call the Afghan, I think it's called Afghan biscuit or Afghan cookie. A bit of ganache on top and hazelnut. Just drizzle it all over. Apparently there's wheat picks in this. Let's try it out. I see what they mean by the wheat picks. Crispy, like very crispy on the inside. The ingredients. Sort of like a chopped bit of hazelnut coming through. You gotta try this one. It's soft and moist. Yeah. That's a good cake though. I'm gonna have one more bite. Yeah, fucking that happens. It's so soft and light. And it's not overly sweet. I'm never going into competitive eating, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me go through a lot of the different foods you'll find in Hawaii. And you can get it all here at this place called the Big Big Aloha. Beautiful people, beautiful family behind it, and great spot. Come and check these guys out. Once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. It would mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, comment what your favorite food from today's video is. It really helps the video to grow. Thank you guys for watching, man. See you next time. Oh, yes, sir. How do you say it? Jalua? 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 Jalua. Hello. <laughs> I'm Kendi. I'm very happy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>